I should ask you, what is your favorite Michael Jordan memory? <laughs> well, the way that he off the floor. Okay, my my favorite memory is off the floor, and uh, it it involves a Bulls practice in which Dennis Rodman showed up about. 20 to 30 minutes late. It wasn't the finals, but it was early in a playoff run. And and it wasn't Phil, my buddy Phil Jackson who went over to talk to Rodman when he came in late. It was Michael Jordan who went over. And Michael and Michael I couldn't hear the conversation, but but Michael was making it quite clear you will be on time for the rest of the practices in the playoffs. It's uh the the leadership that would be then and then in North Carolina when we did, CBS had just taken it over, and it was Georgetown with Patrick Ewing against a, a loaded North Carolina team coached by Dean Smith, and it was Michael Jordan who took the payoff shot from the uh, corner, uh, nailed the big shot that sent the Tar Heels to a, a, a championship. Uh, Jordan was was a man of the moment and uh, was one of a kind, as is LeBron James. I've always wondered what it would have been like if LeBron James had gone, not directly to the NBA, but had gone to college. And, and I'm sure he would have won an NCAA championship uh, someplace. So I think that the, the one thing about the NBA, uh, unlike I think any other league, is, is one player can carry a franchise. And obviously, as the old story goes, you need the three key players out there, and that's true for the game. But you get that one great, great player and you build around him, and and you win championships. But uh, I, I'm sure there are stories about LeBron James behind the scenes, too. I wasn't as close to him as I was to Michael. Uh, but Michael was the greatest leader of men that I've ever been around. What didn't we know about Michael that you know? <laughs> uh, Susie, that's off the record. No, uh, he was he was a world traveler. Let me say that. Okay, great guy to be around, and uh, uh, loved every minute of him. I did not succeed as an owner. Um, I guess what I knew about him early was how much he loved to gamble. Uh, not obviously not on NBA and not on sports, but but I knew I knew guys. In fact, I knew guys who hustled him in golf. Uh, they would lie about their handicap and that, and Michael. Michael loved big money games. The bigger, the bigger the price, the better. The better Michael played, and um, maybe, maybe when he got out of the Charlotte deal, maybe what he wants is a piece of the uh, future franchise in Las Vegas. Because for sure, there will be an NBA team in Las Vegas soon. No doubt about that. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 